Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and let's talk about the 2023 GMC Sierra 1500 84X AEV Edition. Yeah, that's a lot of words behind this truck, but basically it's the Bison. They're from the Chevy Colorado Bison. It's got the boron steel plates, new bumpers, new front rear bumper dialing. It's got the Bison all over its stuff, but it's they're calling it AEV this time. American Expedition Vehicles, a well-known industry. I've actually talked to Dave Harrington, the uh, the founder of, of AAB, a few times um, on a trail, back and forth, whatever, doing a Colorado launch. He's got a really cool boron steel he uses on these trucks. It's very light. It's much more sturdy. It's pretty expensive, which is what why they don't use it all throughout the lineup as far as GMC vehicles. Let's go and get to the story. It's going to be at pickuptrucktalk.com. I'm going to go and throw it up on the screen. And then... Yeah, like that's great. There we go. So we have the GMC Sierra 84X AEV edition. Again, yep, it is a lot of words. And so what I want to point out is a couple of big things here as we go down. Um, I want to look at the photo first. There it is. There's a photo of it climbing. You can see a couple of things. You can see a new uh, cold stamped steel um, bar on the front there, a new bumper. And you can see where it's got a little more ground clearance. And right below, it's, it's a front winch capable. The rear doesn't have a winch capable. And right below that, you can see the massive beginnings of a skid plate. And that's that boron steel. It's very, it's thinner. It's more uh, resistant to dings and damages like that. It's lighter and it's just, it's a stronger steel. So we have that going on there. And then, okay, yeah, that's hot stamped boron steel skid plates. Now they cover the approach, the front approach, steering gear, transfer case, fuel tank, and differential. Boron steel is three and a half times stronger than Cold stamped, high straight steel, much more lighter, much more resistant to bending and gouging. Uh, Dave's got a video on his channel about talking about the boron steel. It's a pretty interesting video. Um, so you have three millimeter thick stamped steel and powder and E-coated front and rear bumpers. They have heavy duty recovery points like you need, <coughs> Toyota. Uh, the bumpers also allow for several improvements in off-road. For example, the front, there's a 27% improvement in approach angle, 32.5 degrees. The departure angle for rear improves slightly to 23.4, so just basically up 4 degrees, 0.4 degrees. And the breakover angle improves just a little bit from 23 degrees. To, that was from 22.7. Overall, ground clearance is about 0.4 inches, which, I mean, those are small little things, but they do make a difference. I'll have a better photo of that here in a second of the, fr the front. Um, they do make a big difference. The, the change they're using for the wheels, uh, they have this really cool wheel here. Then the tires are basically off of the ZR2. So if you know the ZR2 and the AT4X are, are comparable GM's off-road trucks. And one of the big differences, which is kind of a lot of head scratcher, I found out after the event, I didn't notice, was the wheels are different on the AT4X versus the ZR2. So there you go. Um, they're going to use the ZR2 wheels on the AT4X. The front grille and fascia have been reworked to accommodate the new bumper and larger tires. These are actually 33s. The uh, AT4X current tires are 32s, and it could be because of the front fascia. They've had some design issues with getting these trucks to work with everything they want to do to them. Um, see, like the Chevy Tahoe that doesn't get a diesel because the way they design the front fascia. As we come down, we can see there's the AV ban uh, badging to the truck, and then we have the rear. You can see this rear bumper. Um, it looks like they got rid of the step, which I don't see there. And they raised it up because they wanted more ground clearance on the rear. So a little controversy there. Um, I, I know that when they do in the Colorado ZR2 um, uh, A the Bison version, that's got a new bumper too. And basically the reason why is they kept crashing that step. They just kept hitting it so hard. It just <clears throat> pancaked. So they have the new one there. Now, so we don't have pricing yet. We don't have any availability as far as when it's coming out. It's supposed to be sometime this year, maybe. Fingers crossed. I can tell you that the uh, for comparison, the AV Bison package and the Colorado ZR2. So you have to go Colorado, you have to go Crew Cab, you have to, uh, I think it's Crew Cab Short Bed, ZR2. Then you get the Bison package on top of that. It adds $5,750 to the price. The GMC 84X, the 1500 84X, starts at nearly $80,000. So that's what I did today. I went shop for it right now today, and that came up to $79,745. So, and pricing for GM keeps changing quite a bit. So that's what I got there as far as the bison and what's going on with those upgrades. So you have new front bumper, new rear bumper, uh, different front fascia, AV badging, you have bigger tires and you have tons of skid plates. It's basically what you get for this package. But let's go ahead and talk and I'm gonna put it on screen. I wanna see what the, I, I was curious about this. So yes, I brought this up this morning. So there we go. So I wanted to go here 
and we'll see if um, yeah. So this I'll make it a little bit bigger if I can. Yeah, we'll go like go as big as it's gonna let me make it. Um, I just go like that. No. Anyways, so this is the GMC AT four X. Okay, and this is the I'm gonna AEV or the Bison version. So I'm gonna go back and forth a few times. So I'm gonna you know count to five, whatever. Take a look at it, but let's talk about some things. So. We can see the front grill has a GMC there. It has this here. AT4X is in, is in that grill. That's what that um, little spot of uh, styling in the bottom right-hand corner. As we go bigger, we, AT4X is still there. But you can I think the grill looks about the same. Okay. And so I don't, they're, they're saying there's some changes there. Must be, must be where the, oh, I see, where the, they took off the entire bottom grill. So that's how they made that change. So if you look at the base GMC Sierra AT4X, you can see the tow hooks, and you see that second that line below where the lower bumper is, and that's more it's a steel bumper on top of it. I believe it's more aluminum, but on the bottoms of steel. And then when the the, the AEV, AEV version that has been completely taken out, gutted, new bumper installed, and so it has a whole kind of new front look there, the tires there, and I swear it's got a lift to it, just the way the AEV Bison sits, but. It's definitely the way the photo looks, and the photo looks pretty badass. Oh, and, and inside the, the truck, too, will be the Obsidian Rush metallic interior. That's going to be standard on the AEV Bison. I'm calling it AEV Bison, but uh, this is, a, I think, a really good um, photo to show where I see the differences. So this is high-speed desert driving in the, AM, the AT4X, the base one. And then this is rock crawling, and that's rock crawling with the Bison, or the AEV Bison. Uh, that to me is more about what this truck's going to be. It's more about rock crawling versus desert racing. You can desert race with it, but with all this underbody protection from the boron steel and the winch and stuff like this, you want to climb on more stuff. This is where you want to go and climb a little bit more. And then looking at the back, we can see, like I said, the stock AT4X has the steps in the bumper, and that's really useful. Uh, in the AEV version, the steps in the bumper are gone. You can see they're just kind of closed up. Looks like there's a little bit of a lip, but it looks like they're just closed, closed completely with the uh, steel. And you can see more of the skid plates when you look underneath. You can see the differential skid plate, and you can start seeing almost to the front skid plates. And so transfer case um, skid plates, too, covering all that kind of stuff up. So that's what we got. We got uh, this versus that. We have desert racing versus rock crawling. Um, it is worth mentioning this truck only comes with a 6.2 liter V8. Uh, that's premium fuel only, by the way, folks. Point out for that. Uh, and you get crew cab only, and you get only four-wheel drive. And so it's very specific what you get for that truck and what you're going to get as far as the AEV addition to that truck. It's just going to add a little bit more. I'm going to call it rock crawling. Kind of a cool look, though. I was a big fan of the ZR2 Bison when I drove it in Arizona. Uh, you can beat that thing up. And that boron steel, <laughs> I'm going to take a sledgehammer to it because I don't think it's going to dent. It's pretty strong stuff. And uh Big fan of it. So there you go. There's the thoughts on the 2023 GMC Sierra AT4X AEV edition, if you cut all that. Uh, for more, check the website out, pickuptrucktalk.com. I have more of the story there. You can read more of the details. Also, check out the videos over here. Website, like I said, Pick Up Truck Talk. Pick Up Truck Talk on social media, live streams. Here's Thursday night. That's what I'm going to say. Join us for live streams. They're a lot of fun. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you down the road.